first downs in the second half. Far side, and he just flipped that one. Well, he got his own guy <laughs> knocked back into him. Byron Leftwich had to deal with the fact that his own player got knocked right into his chest while he's trying to throw the ball. The courtesy of Dwight Freeney. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> he's got Khalif Barnes. Man. That was the youngest of six kids. Guilty of that one and slipping coming out of the backfield is Cedric Houston. Houston. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage, falls forward to about the two. Dwight Freeney made that play. And Burnell will go to the air under deep pressure and not get away. A flag goes down. Dwight Freeney, who is yet to have a sack this year. And let's see if we have a face mask on this play. And he came in, Dick, and it looked like he got his hand on his face mask. He gave the patent to Dwight Freeney. Twist. You know, in order to get separation, and you see there the right hand. And, you know, as we know, I mean, you can't grab the face mask no matter who you're talking about. But anytime you go high on a quarterback, even if you hadn't grabbed the face mask, they might have gotten the call. To the touchdown. Grinnell getting huge pressure and gets rid of it in a hurry up the middle. Yeah, you know, Chris Samuels has already had his hands full with Freeney and then Cato June coming off the edge as well. But you know, you got to give him some help. Chris Samuels is a terrific football player, the best offensive lineman for the Redskins. But going up, going up against the quickness and speed of Dwight Freeney. In danger of that again. Blitz and for the first time. The sack and a fumble. It's Brock with the recovery. It looked like Dwight Freeney may have knocked it loose. This could be it. The first sack. They're going to rule that it was no fumble. They're going to rule him down, Phil. Well, it's a huge challenge. It's actually the first time a Denver opponent has issued a challenge in a game this year. Jake was never on the ground, Jim. He was on him to defenders. There's a team rushing in this half. Nathan Bell, get back some, as Dwight Freeney was manning that side. And that's what the Colts, they, they live on this. You get plays, you make plays. What a spin by Dwight Freeney inside. Even on run, a running play, he does the spin. Season against Manning, he's thrown the ball 275 times, and the pressure put on that time by Freeney. So we have Freeney talking about him. The play is whistled dead. So you've got Freeney, one of the rare times this season he's been able to come in almost unimpeded and nearly got the sack. Yeah, he did come unimpeded. You know, you'd think that they'd know where Dwight Freeney was. No one blocked him on that play. You see, Matt Light is going out. It's going to be a screen pass to his side. And Price to the left. And there's Freeney with a sack, his first full sack of the year. About time, he says. <laughs> Wait, it's a team game, but it, it also is about beating the guy in front, of you, in front of you and finally do what you do best. And you've got a tight end trying to block you. That is a great deal. Robert Royal is a lot worse at pass blocking than Jason Peters. Years. Third down and eight. And Romo with pressure. Freeney strips it away and it's scooped up by Indy for the recovery. Cato June. Freeney coming in on the quarterback. You saw it. We just said it, Jim. When you try to move around the pocket against this defense, they are so fast up front, they get off the blocks. Dwight Freeney coming from the outside just dips right under Flo's L. Adams and Tony Romo has not had to make a decision that quick so far this year. This pass intercepted in and out of the arms. Dropped by Marlon Jackson. Dwight Freeney absolutely nailed Tony Romo. That's what errant passes are almost always the result of getting hit. Out of the empty backfield. Palmer is flushed into the arms of Freeney, who forces a fumble, recovered by the Colts, Anthony McFarland. Dwight Freeney, who's been quiet, forces the fumble. This is all on Carson Palmer. You've got a short route call. You want to get the ball off in a hurry. You don't get it off in a hurry when Dwight Freeney chases you. That's what's going to happen. 
Glenn Palmer hit as he throws almost intercepted. Giordano was sneaking up there. Dwight Freeney getting in once again. Wow. Andrew Whitworth has his hands full at the left tackle position. You have to block Freeney with two people. Can't let him go low. That spin move is just so quick. It's so quick. It's unfair. Tony Stewart's in motion. This is third and ten. The twisting Colts get Freeney to force another fumble. And we'll see if Indianapolis comes up with it. Be another sack for Dwight. A second forced fumble on the night. He's had his best game of the year. I mean, he is so quick off the ball. The Colts defense, they play terrific. First and ten, Bengals still interested in scoring points here. Freedy with another forced fumble and sack. Third time tonight. This one recovered by Kenny Watson, who keeps the play alive. And it's a loss of six yards. And Joe, I was talking about why are they running the ball and I why know. are they throwing screens? And I told you, because their offensive line cannot block the Indianapolis Colts defensive line. I mean, it, you, somebody's got to block them. With tight end releases, you still have to get some type of a hand, a body, someone, something on Dwight Freeney. He is so quick off the line. And they just absolutely lightning fast. And Robert Mathis on the other side, he's only about 245. He's the same way. And they're facing another third down. Sack! Dwight Freeney, the sack specialist of the Colts, with that whirling dervish, gets to Trent Green. Without question, one of the most exciting players in football is Dwight Freeney. He literally just went underneath Jordan Black on this one. And Freeney has a whole lot of sacks with that exact move. A lot of times he'll spin back yeah. inside. That time he dipped low and went in for the sack. Chiefs need a quick strike here. Trent Green retreats. And is sacked. Dwight Freeney got him back at the 45-yard line. Well, Dwight Freeney, you can only block him so many times. That time he goes to a straight bull rush. You worry so much. Four yards rushing. From the 38 on first down, and Brady is hit. Gets the pass away intended for Daniel Graham, and it was Freeney who was in on Brady. One-on-one, -on -one. what a hit by Dwight Freeney. It's not challengeable from the 48. That's Cedric Benson, and the ball pops out. And Freeney is right there, and the Colts. Do they have a second recovery of the quarter? Yes, they do. Bob Sanders with the pop. And Benson's first handle results in a fumble and a Freeney recovery.